There's no finesse, just brute force. Germany is in the midst of a cash machine crime wave. The thieves get away with tens of thousands of euros on average, but the property damage is often much higher. These criminals are extremely reckless and ruthless. Until recently, we had 11,000 ATMs in the state of North Rhine-Westphalia. But in the past six months, that's dropped to 9,500. That's still quite a lot, and they're an appealing target. There were 500 ATM robberies in Germany last year, Many of the gangs come from across the border, including the Netherlands. The bank in Netherlands have the automaten automaten goed beveiligd. Banks in the Netherlands have secured the ATMs better. So the Netherlands isn't as attractive a target. Zijn veel automaten. In Germany, though, there are lots of ATMs, and they're filled with lots of cash. The grens over zijn getrokken. In cash-loving Germany, the ATMs are well-stocked, and there's no speed limit on the Autobahn. These suspects sped away at 250 kilometers an hour to outrun the police. We accompany police officers Jana Henriks and Bert Bruins out on duty. They're part of a special unit. For the past 15 years, German and Dutch police have been teaming up to patrol the border and fight organized crime, including smash and haul ATM robberies. The police are careful not to reveal too much about their tactics. You need good instincts. Here on the Autobahn, you only have a few seconds to glance at cars and look inside them. A radio call comes in from the Dutch police in the city of Enschede, just across the border. A car with German license plates has caught their eye. The officers speed up to intercept it. Yes, we'll pull them over in another 600 meters. Where are you going? Home. The officers search the vehicle using a sniffer dog. The dogs are also trained to find explosives. The police do find something, but just cannabis seeds. No trace of explosives or tools to rob an ATM. In this game of cat and mouse, the police often arrive too late. They're worried that one day an explosion will prove deadly. That's also true for this man from a town about 100 kilometers from the Dutch border. He doesn't want to give his name. Not long ago, two ATMs were robbed nearby. His family lives above an ATM machine. A gas line runs between the two stories, which could explode during a robbery. We're so scared, we sleep terribly, of course. We're not doing well. We're worried all the time. At night, the slightest noise wakes us up. Local and state officials are aware that people are worried. The German banking sector has pledged to the Federal Minister of the Interior that they will better secure their ATMs, step up safety measures, keep less cash in the machines and render stolen cash unusable. We contacted the National Association of German Cooperative Banks to find out more. They declined to be interviewed, but gave us a written statement. It has been our goal for years to prevent attacks and permanently reduce the number of ATN bombings through appropriate preventative measures. For now, though, there's no end in sight. And given the rising number of ATM robberies in Germany, the next one is probably just hours away.